So we've been hit with a lot of different climate impacts already. Big flood in 2012, we also had warmer water temperatures. We're experiencing heat events that we've not known before, extreme rain events and sudden storms. Here in the Great Lakes region, we don't have a really iconic big impact. The things that we experience already are going to get more intense and happen more frequently. The impacts of climate change uh, that are already with us will be with us for some time to come. Cities have to be prepared for that. Climate adaptation is something that we have to do because we're already vulnerable today and we're going to continue to be more and more vulnerable in the future. Climate adaptation in Thunder Bay means really getting ready for, for the storms that are coming. Adaptation for, for us means uh, a recognition that change in climate is with us. Nobody has the right solution, nobody has a silver bullet. It's really about bringing the people who know their assets, their sectors, their industry, and get them to think about what they can do differently to address those risks. The Graham Institute here at the University of Michigan has taken a leading uh, role in, uh, on issues of climate change, uh, uh, Great Lakes related issues, and, and now this one on adaptation and resilience. The Graham Institute, Lisa and Glacy have formed uh, this wonderful hub of climate information for the Great Lakes, the best one that I've come across so far. They provide historical data that helps people understand where we've been. And then of course they provide the climate data that's needed to inform decisions going forward. They help make the climate information useful and usable at that local scale. Glacy has been really useful in terms of connecting us with other communities. Uh, this conference is a really great example. The expertise that Glisa and Glacy both have to offer on online tools and connecting to different resources have been really valuable. We've really benefited from Glisa and, and Glacy in terms of the, um, the research that's happening here at U of M and through the, uh, the Institute. It's not about bouncing back, it's about bouncing forward. It's about creating a better world for all.